what is going on everybody I am happy to be back with another tutorial for you it is Lambo here I I've already made a bunch of ad strips here so these are all like kind of military based uh, but a bunch of signs identification required impact area you know authorized personnel sniper chemical biological radi radiological and nuclear is what Seaburn stands for I mean I got a bunch of grenades a couple guns stuff like that uh, I'm going to show you how to make these and you can use this file that is available for download on my Patreon. It's free on the public side of the Patreon. Uh, I'll also post it on a couple different mod sites, but just some ad strips for you to use. And we're going to show you how to take one of these and edit it. So take one of this. So let's just say this guy right here. We're going to look at first things first. If you're going to edit one and you want to change it, export selection, export selection with files. I'm just going to put it right here, put uh, Deadpool. Okay, and then I'm going to open, or let's say the changes to it. We're going to open up this Deadpool one. Okay. Not a lot of light in this one, huh? Looks different because there's no light. No light imported, but we're gonna we can change it now without it changing all of those. So we'll go to this folder or to this diffuse map texture right here. And then what we can do is open it with paint.net. And now we're not gonna save it. Now that square is UV mapped to that section right here. The little square, when I was in Blender, I UV mapped it to right there. There is a ton of different ones on here that I didn't make that you could totally change, but we we know for a fact that if we edit right here on this Deadpool, that it will uh, show up. So we're gonna put, uh, Lambo mods. We're gonna put it in white so we can see it. Maybe change the text to like a impact or some kind of stencil. Find find me a stencils. Something quick. It's not being quick enough. Deciding my brain move faster. Brain. I gotta be picky. Oh, that, that works. Woo! Okay. Just doing this to show you how to change it a little bit. You could delete this whole little square right here and put whatever you want, your own little image or whatever. But now when we go to save it, we're going to save it as something else. So go to save as, and we're going to rename it, uh, whatever you want to rename it but you can't name it the same otherwise it'll change all of those you'll lose the old deadpool one so now we're going to save that here's the settings i use dxt3 explicit alpha i use cluster fit perpetual generate mint maps on faint that's what i'd use to make it see through transparent i guess would be the, the real word so now that we have that selected we're going to select this texture and it'll show up Lambo mods modding, right? So we'll hit save, open the decal one we just had open, and then we'll go to import. We'll import in Deadpool. And then you just made your own custom, custom graphic right there. And it's using a completely different, uh, remember we saved this completely new, it's using different than this one. So if you edit this main one, it'll edit all these because that is all on that image. So, and if you duplicate the image and edit the new one, then it'll only show up like that and you can keep the old ones I made. Or you can go through and make completely all new ones and 
each one of these squares is mapped out to a certain section on that image and you can figure it out by looking at the what it says and compare it to where the image is and you can edit said image for length height stuff like that you can make these bigger smaller stretch them up and down uh, they do not get thicker it's, it's, it's flat um, you can rotate them so like if you want to put them on the side of a building or on the side of a truck or something like that the back of a window you know you want to put this deadpool one in the back of the window first guy to put a lambo mods modding deadpool in the back of their truck window don't give them data access for like a while all right just because i think that'd be neat and i don't want to do it it's a little egotistical <laughs> but i'm going to hit save on this that's how you make your ad strips guys and then you would just import um you'd open up your mod it's supposed to say we're going to open up this pickup it's not going to work actually because that pickup is just a sample so let's look at i don't know what i would have on here that i could put the humby yeah it's great we'll open up humby okay i'm going to open that up with 8.1 beta And something I'm noticing about these is they're not really, we'll see if this new editor will export it properly. I'm gonna export selection with file. So it should transfer over the textures we created into the Sumvi folder. We'll see. We'll see. Hop out of that camera. Oh, I haven't created the camera yet. Ooh. Man, it's, sometimes it's just crazy with the console and how this, like, I wish it would just stay how I'd make it instead of adding its own way in here. Okay, so that plane's in there now. We're going to paste it inside wherever, really. Just stay right here. Okay. I can't see anything. Let's create a light. We'll have to delete the light, but at least now I can see. And then it looks like it's facing the wrong way. So we're going to look at its rotate here. Oh no, that was right. So like 90, that would fit like 90. so fast like zero and then we'd scale it way down like point two that's huge and just kind of lay it flush with Wherever I'm happiest, happiest with it. And there it is. I'm going to move this light because it drives me nuts. I hate the lighting in the editors. Like I get it. You get to see where all the lights are and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's super annoying. Okay. Let's go down. That should be good. And double check, okay. If you ever make your own in Blender, make sure the rigid body is not checked. That happens a lot. So boom, that's how you add a decal to a car. Thanks guys for watching.